Hello everyone and welcome to the ongoing lore series I am doing on the channel. If you've not seen my video covering the entire R6 lore up to year 7 season 3, then I recommend giving that a watch before you watch most of my lore videos. It's not necessary, but it does help giving you a lot of context behind Team Rainbow and what is currently happening. So as the main story continues to develop, I thought it'd be a fun idea to take a look at every single operator and go into their lore. So I thought I would start with one of my favourite operators which is Lion. So Olivier Flamon, aka Lion, was born on the 29th of August in Toulouse in in France, and his biography says the following. Olivier was born to a conservative, well-to-do family. His parents and older sister, Sophie, were in medicine and devout Catholics, but he bucked against their accomplishments and their faith. He was smart and arrogant, but he believed rebellion was a better use of his intellect. It was fun to act against expectation, to drink and party, at least it was, until he got his girlfriend Claire. Pregnant. He tried to convince Claire to get an abortion, but she refused. Once his parents found out about the pregnancy, they kicked him out of the house. It was the last straw in a string of bad behaviour. Now depressed, Olivier went on a drug and alcohol fueled bender, getting trashed enough to land in the hospital. And that was his wake up call. He was 18 and nearly homeless, so he joined the French army out of desperation in order to gain control of his life. Military life was hard but rewarding. Olivier took solace in purpose and struggled to break old habits. He started sending money to Claire to support their newborn son even though she did not want to see Olivier. Olivier's skills and aptitude were well suited for specific training in CBRN, and according to the website cpni.gov.uk, CBRN is the abbreviation commonly used to describe the malicious use of chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear materials or weapons with the intention to cause significant harm or disruption. So Lion was now basically being trained in countering chemical warfare. The additional structure and strict discipline of advanced training allowed him to excel. He became a second level in combat rescuer and was quickly recruited into the 2nd Dragoon Regiment. Olivier worked primarily with their environmental monitoring sensors in support of the unit's role as a CBRN reaction force. He also developed a close relationship with the regiment's Catholic chaplain, Bertrand, who eventually spoke to Claire and convinced her that Olivier regretted his actions. He then arranged a reunion for them. It was a hard moment for Olivier. He met his son, Alexis, the child he wanted aborted, and the reality of his decision hit him hard. He had been selfish, pushing his girlfriend to do something him because it inconvenienced him. More so, Claire was about to get married and Alexis was already calling someone else his father. Everything he had done, putting his loved ones through hell, took a toll on him and shoved him into another wild depression episode that almost cost him his rank. Chaplain Bertrand helped Olivier through this crisis and with it, he returned to the Catholic Church. Olivier swore he would do everything possible to rectify the pain he had caused, so he worked harder and sought more challenges. He grew a fascination for bacteriology and virology, specifically vector vector control, and according to Wikipedia, vector control is any method to limit or eradicate the mammals, birds, insects, or other anthropods which transmit disease pathogens. And whether this was a coincidence or not, Lion's primary weapon in the game is actually the vector. Now recognising that his abilities could be better applied elsewhere, he resigned from the army and joined the GIGN, with a view towards the GIGN's operational support force. Olivier worked as the unit's new biohazard expert, using drones to maintain and hold quarantine perimeters. He focused on his duty, only making things right, no matter how much it hurt him in the process. His feelings were irrelevant. What mattered was strict observation of his duty. During a yellow fever outbreak in Sudan, while protecting a field investigation team, his loud voice scared a frightened mob back and he gained the nickname Lion from the locals. In 2015, the army asked him to lead the second dragoons to Nigeria to assist medical personnel fighting the Ebola epidemic. Tragedy ensued and the decisions Olivier made for safety reasons put him at odds with Gustave Kadeb, aka Doc, who blamed him for the death of several medical personnel on site including Doc's colleague. And the tension between these two operators continued to this day. Despite this, Olivier's ability to remain focused and perform precise tasks under stressful conditions caught the attentions of Lyra Melnikova, aka Finca. She recommended him as a candidate for Rainbow. Previous director of Six before Harry, Aurelia Arnaud, agreed with her recommendation and recruited Olivier in early 2018 as a CBRN specialist on the team's new CBRN threat unit. Olivier immediately proved his value when he and Melnikova uncovered the source of the mysterious mist that came ashore in Sussex and poisoned people. Although he claims he does share this success with Emmanuel Pichon, aka Twitch, who provided him with his new aerial drone to locate the mist plume. Olivier has managed to stay in his son's life, but it is an awkward relationship. Alexis
Alexis does not know how to call him father, and Olivier is not sure what it means to be a dad in the day to day. He has mended his bridges with his parents and sister, his return to the Catholic faith healing those wounds, and while his decision to be a soldier bothers them, he is no longer the thoughtless rebel. He is not a soldier to make life easy on his soul. He bears the weight of responsibility for what he has done, even though Bertrand constantly reminds him that forgiveness is in the heart of God. And that brings us to 2022, where Lion has been placed on the new Rainbow Six Humanitarian Squad, Wolfguard, under the leadership of Doc. And as of Year 7 Season 3, that is the furthest in Lion's story which we have reached. But there is still more information in his biography which gives us a deeper understanding of the character. So his first psychological profile states that Lion is a by the books operator because he doesn't trust his civilian instincts. Rules give him structure, and allow him to control what he considers the pettier parts of his personality. They give him a safety net when conscience or arrogance could otherwise weaken his resolve and hurt more lives. He bears the weight of responsibility for what he has done and pushes himself to the limits as a form of corporal punishment. Unfortunately, Lion is arrogant and has rubbed some people the GIGN and Rainbow the wrong way. Doc thinks he lacks empathy necessary to help him in medical crises, while Lion thinks that Doc's humanitarianism is a liability. Twitch is not happy about being caught up in the middle of that fight. Lion's closest friend in the GIGN is Montang, but when Thatcher punched Olivier after he said something wrong during a training exercise, Lion almost brought the GIGN and SAS to blows. Finally, we have the psychological profile from the words of Harry, the director of Rainbow Six, and it says the following, Scars. A few of our operators have more than their fair share. Specialist Olivier Lyon Flamont, however, has used the army to heal his. No outlet is perfect, and battle fatigue has a way of piling up, but he channels his frustrations into determination. His approach is motivated by such singular focus that it makes him one of our more formidable and consistent team members. Something that I try to impart to our team is the value of introspection. Flamont, with his Catholic faith, already understands this. He openly discusses his regrets, and I can see that they gave him clarity and purpose. The past isn't something that he's forgetting or tried to erase, it motivates him, but it has no hold. In my sessions, I ask for one good thing that happened recently, no matter how small. Some have described a perfect breakfast they had, or a movie that made them laugh so hard they cried. Flamont talks about his love of heavy metal music, his faith, and his son. While the pain of being disowned by his father may never truly fade, it's prompted Flamont to engage with his son more constructively. He treasures their relationship, perhaps because he realises how close he came to never knowing Alexis at all. In the pictures Flamont shares with me, I can see the results of his efforts. Three of our GIGN operator specialists, Twitch, Doc and Lion, are all haunted by a shared tragedy. This friction over Flamont quarantining doctors and nurses who later died can't continue. Joint sessions with Kadeb and Flamont are already planned. We will resolve this one way or another. Lamont tells me that, thanks to his military service, he's reinvented himself, but that suggests a different person. I think it's more of like a reshaping, a dedicated operator, a tireless volunteer, a caring father, he's always been these things. His tattoo, the French army's motto, give me a chance to shine, tells Flamont's story. For him to continue growing, he will have to accept his intrinsic abilities to change. And that is the story of Olivier Flamont, aka Lion. Have a great day everyone, I'll catch you later.